Hi, welcome to Angelic Cliff Wellness. So shortness of breath, that's unexplained. If you're finding yourself, you can't walk the same amount of distance you used to walk, all of a sudden you have to stop halfway, catch your breath, uh, sit on the bench before you can you know, walk the block that you used to be able to walk easily before, those are warning signs that you don't want to ignore. Another warning sign could be irregular heartbeats. So you, you normally, you know, notice how your heart normally beats, you never really notice it, or what should I say, and all of a sudden you're feeling some extra beats, or you're feeling some irregularity in the way your heart is beating. We call that palpitations, but it can sometimes be a sign that maybe some electrolyte abnormality is going on with your heart and it needs to be checked out. It could be some arrhythmias that we need to do some EKG, ECG to really look and see what's going on with the electrical activity of your heart to make sure that this is not something that is an impending heart attack. Another symptom that you might be ignoring is just plain old dizziness or what we call vertigo, right? So a lot of patients will have, you know, they'll just feel dizzy and they're like, hmm, I don't know what that is and keep, keep pushing, right? Or they'll feel vertigo and will go to their ENT doctors to look in their ear and their ear looks fine and they're just like, all right, well, I don't know, maybe it's just sinus allergy, something and just keep it moving. But sometimes this can actually be a sign of a heart attack. So if your ENT has been looking into your ear and you're not finding anything, you can't really pinpoint why you're feeling dizzy all of a sudden, even though you know you're well hydrated, your blood sugar is not low, all those things have been checked, and you continuously have this sign, this is something you don't want to ignore too long. Make an appointment with your internal medicine doctor, your primary care family doctor, make an appointment with your cardiologist, make sure they do some further testing to look into why you're all of a sudden having vertigo and dizziness that's unexplained, okay? What about just feeling sleepy all the time? Some patients, you know, will have what we call sleep apnea that will make them sleepy during the day. But actually sleep apnea can sometimes predispose someone to having heart disease. So just daytime fatigue, daytime uh, sleep, uh, sleepiness, it's something that you definitely want to get checked out and make sure that you are not ignoring, okay? I also want to emphasize that your age does not matter, okay? We are seeing an unprecedented amount of young people with heart disease, okay? Because obesity and being overweight and morbidly overweight is causing a lot of people to have heart disease earlier and earlier. Right, so before it used to be something we see in you know the older years, but now I mean we're seeing heart attacks in people in their forties, heart attacks in people in their thirties. I mean even now that some cardiologists are seeing people in their twenties having heart disease. Okay, so don't say oh I'm too young or it can't be. Go, go get this checked out. If you're finding two, three, four, five of these symptoms are all ringing a bell you need to go get checked out. Do not wait, okay? So also, for women, so women, we find sometimes that you go to the doctor complaining about some symptoms, but you're reporting it as heartburn. You're reporting it as panic attack or anxiety attacks. And that might be all the symptoms you have as a female with heart disease. You might never get crushing chest pain. You might not even get shortness of breath. You don't feel any palpitations, no nausea, none of that. You're just feeling heartburn. Every time you eat or even when you don't eat, just randomly heartburn all the time. And this burn can be a sign that you are actually having heart attack. So before you start taking a bunch of Toms and you know, antacids over the counter or Metamucil or whatever it is that you, you use to try to help calm your heartburn, you want to make sure that you have had it thoroughly checked out that this is not a early warning sign for you that your heart is not healthy, okay? Panic attack sometimes is, you know, reasons why people will frequent the ER and, you know, think that you're having a heart attack because it just feels like 
you know, you, so the, the, the room is, is closing in on you, and so that's the only symptom you have. For some people, that's all they have. That is their sign that their heart is not doing well. And so if you're feeling something like this, rather than just medicating it with over-the-counter supplements and things like that, you definitely want to make sure you get this ruled out if you're a female and you are having these symptoms. So what are the other signs that someone might have that might be heart attack coming on and you don't really know? Tingling feeling, right? Some people, all they will feel is no chest pain, but just some type of tingling feeling just running through maybe into their left arm or into their jaw and that's all they experience. They don't feel the pain in the chest, it's just some weird sensation just going down to their left arm or going to their back or going up their jaw and that's it. So for some people that's all you get, that's all the warning signs your body wants to give you. So you're feeling these weird sensations coming on from nowhere, you don't know why you're having it, it's, it's happening repeatedly within a short amount of time, definitely stop what you're doing call 911, have someone drive you to the hospital to get you checked out. Why don't we want you to drive yourself to the hospital? Well, if this is really a heart attack that's happening, the last thing you want to be doing is driving because if your heart stops in the middle of the road while you're driving, now you're having a fatal heart attack and an accident at the same time, right? So we don't want that to happen. So if you're having some of these symptoms, you want to call the professional to come out, get you, be in an ambulance, be somewhere where you can get help in case this is really what's happening, okay? So don't risk it, don't drive yourself, go get checked out, okay? So again, this is early warning signs that your body might be having a heart attack. You don't want to ignore, okay? If you had any of these symptoms, and it turned out to be heart disease, please comment in the section below because I need people to realize that this is not just a list, they can just go yada, 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 okay? This is real. More than half a million Americans are dying of heart disease from these basic symptoms every day, okay? So you wanna take this seriously, you wanna know the signs, if you see it in yourself, in your loved one, in your parents, in your, in your children, you want to get help quick, okay? Because the time between you, you noticing the symptoms and getting help is how much of your heart muscle you can save. And if your heart muscle is saved, that's how you recover, okay? But if you wait too long, you're losing heart muscle and you're causing a fatal issue, okay? Hope this makes sense. Please comment in the section below so you can help somebody. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.